Howdy, and welcome to the Texas Bucket List, the show dedicated to the incredible people, wonderful places, and extreme experiences you'll only find right here in the Lone Star State. My name is Shane McAuliffe, and I must say I do love springtime in Texas for several reasons, but here in the crack of the bat might top the list. Over in Nakona, we came across a factory that's been around for generations that happens to make an American tradition you won't find anywhere else in America, making it well worth a stop on the Texas bucket list. Baseball, a sport as American as it gets. There's nothing like the smell of the grass on a mild spring evening, the constant rumble of conversations going on during each and every pitch. But all eyes turn to the field when the batter makes contact with the ball. And for a few fleeting seconds, we all wonder if that little ball ends up on the grass or in a glove. Those gloves are essential to a game featuring a small, hard ball. And some of the best in the world are built right here in Texas. It definitely fits like a glove. Gosh, we hope so. <laughs> Rob Story runs the baseball business in Nakona, Texas that his great-grandfather started as a leather goods manufacturer in 1926. During the height of the Great Depression in the 30s, we were selling wallets and purses. And as my granddad would say at the time, to sell a wallet during the Great Depression for a dollar, you had to put a dollar bill inside of it. So Rob's grandfather decided to change up the game and get involved in the popular sport of baseball. Took them three or four years, but in 34, we made our first glove. Spelled with a K instead of a C, the gloves became synonymous with the small Texas town despite the small difference in spelling. Apparently, the town's name couldn't be trademarked. 80 years down the line, we found out that that actually is one of the five accepted spellings for Nakona in the Comanche Indian language. Well, well, there you go. You got lucky. We got lucky. Yeah, <laughs> that's happened a lot. Named after a Comanche chief, who happened to be the father of Kiwana Parker, Nakona gloves are handmade and happen to be the only gloves in the entire world made in America. We're the only glove company left in the United States. Uh, most everything's now made in China, Malaysia, Vietnam, the Philippines. Uh, it's, it's crazy, but uh, that's the way it's been for 40 something years. American is baseball and apple pie, but if you want American glove. Yeah, you gotta come to Nakona. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Wow, that's a lot of effort. Shane, this is where the ball gloves start. It all happens right here at this end of the factory. Rob has 35 employees meticulously meld together 26 pieces of leather to make one incredibly fine smelling all American product. I love that smell. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm doing my picture face. Yes. It all starts with an initial piece of leather. This is where a ball glove starts <clears throat> with the palm die. This is always the largest die when cutting out a glove. Then a long process of stamping, stitching, and sewing. Each glove by hand goes down the line. This is one of the most crucial parts of making a glove is getting the fit and the finish together just right. Quality control during construction consists of one main man. So Martin touches every single glove that comes through. Yes, yes, Martin. Martin is more or less quality control and, and realistically this is one part where he's got to make sure that all the seams are just right. He's not always the most popular guy in the factory because sometimes he has to take stuff back and say, no, you can do better. After everything is laced up, the glove gets its final goodbye from Nakoda. One good beating. He can do that up to 60 times to get the glove worked in. So it's almost ready to go the, the day you pull it off the shelf. You definitely gotta watch your fingers here. You might want to watch your fingers while you're doing it, sure. <laughs> and then it's ready for the big time. So what do people talk about when they do this? Uh, wow, that smells really good. It does smell good. <laughs> it smells like rich leather. <laughs> rich Corinthian leather. Yes. Where's Ricardo Montalban when you need him? <laughs> I only play baseball with this baseball glove. <laughs> Nakona gloves have played a big role in American history not just in the sport of baseball, but also during World War II, when soldiers on different sides of the world got to have a piece of home with them. Uncle Sam came to us, and from 42 through uh, 45, we were contracted by the U.S. Army to make ball gloves for the infantry. So this is one of the gloves 
that we made during World War II. We made over 260,000 gloves a year. A lot of GIs would remember having one of these, give them something to do while they weren't fighting and remind them of home, take their mind off of the war. Despite its all-American lineage and reputation, Nakona gloves aren't the most used gloves in the game for one reason, they can't afford to be. Because we're a smaller company, it's always kind of been out of our reach. So nowadays we probably have 12 to 15 people at the major league level but we consider them authentic players because they want to wear a Nakona. Tyler Saldino is one of those exceptions, but he's continuing a tradition of playing an All-American game with something made right here in the Lone Star State. We produce close to 30,000 a year. And how does that compare to the other guys who are making gloves? Well, uh, out of six and a half million gloves that are sold annually in the United States, we, you know, we represent only that one percent or, or less, but uh, we like to think we're the, we're the best. So these 35 Texans continue to work hard, keeping baseball America's game, while continuing a Texas tradition that's always been a home run. It makes me so proud that we've been able to hang on through the years and keep people employed in Nakona and carry on the legacy here in Nakona. Uh, it's, uh, it's kind of what I live for. Well, that is a beautiful product, and you do guys well, do an awesome you. job. Appreciate it. And it's awesome that it's made in America right here in Texas. That's right. What's more America than baseball? Texas baseball gloves. There you go. <laughs>